Welcome to day three of the Whiskey Advent Calendar, and um, Green Spot got in today. Um, by the way, this list, in case you need a reminder, is uh, was curated and uh, and sourced from the Whiskey Tribe Facebook group, and then I took the top twenty five or twenty four, I think it was, and um, I arranged them into a tasting order. Uh, so that's my fault. So day three for me was green spot. Now I'm kind of excited about this because here's the thing. I'm going to pour this. Two things. One, I love green spot. Uh, and green spot was one of those moments for me where uh, I totally had a right brain picture experience when I tasted it one time that showed me all these things that were possible. But here's the other reason I'm excited about today. Finally, one of the brands. So when we started this advent calendar, I reached out to the brands responsible for each of the whiskeys about a month and a half ago. And I said, hey, could you put me in touch with somebody who is trying to sell or promote or rep this product? And I want them to answer three questions. And I'm going to talk about them on the show because I think reps need to be uh, brought to the front of uh, consumer knowledge because they're doing such great work. More than 75% of the brands never replied. Radio silent. One of the brands said, sorry, we don't have anybody to answer those questions for you. And only a, like three or four even attempted to make something happen. And one of those brands was Middleton because Middleton gets it. They understand marketing. <laughs> and so they put us in touch with Tommy Byrne, who's the uh, rep for Green Spot. And my three questions were this. Tell us what you think we should know about this expression. Two, what's your favorite place to drink when you're not working? And three, how can we follow you to be kept up to date on events you're doing? Because one of the reasons I wanted to introduce you guys to uh, the reps is because they are often working their butts off to give access to fans of a brand and events and special tastings and cask selections. And so if you follow the reps on social media, you might get clued into something new that's happening and maybe get a shot of participating before the rest of the world knows about it. So Tommy Byrne answered our question. First, let's talk about the whiskey. Then we'll talk about Tommy Byrne. Oh, man, this is all pure floral and citrus. A hint of coconut and almost salt sea air. But not briny. Oh, this is the most green apple whiskey, I think, in Irish whiskey examples you'll probably ever taste. It's so magnificently fruity and floral. Musically, mm. this is ukulele music. <laughs> This is music that, I mean, no, it's anything you play on ukulele is going to be happy. And you can play the most depressing song in the world. And if it's played on ukulele, you're going to smile and feel like you want to sit on the beach. And to me, this is like, like brother is. Uh, this is classic Hawaiian ukulele. And, uh, you know, there's um, so many great... Uh, true Hawaiian artists most people don't know about. But but if you uh, want to know, like a, a gateway for a lot of people has been Brother Iz's uh, cover of Somewhere Over the Rainbow meshed with I See um, What a Wonderful World. But that, I see trees of green skies and red roses too. And I think to myself, what a one do tink 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 Anyway, this is all the melodic sensibility of ukulele and that just fresh sea breeze, but it's light and pretty and happy and uh, it's great. Mm. Okay, let's talk Tommy. Tommy Byrne. So the question was, what was your favorite thing about Green Spot? And Tommy's answer was, let's talk about the liquid. It has all the classic full body and creaminess of an Irish single pot still. Yes, with a lovely fruit character. Yeah, it's got the pot still classic richness to it. I totally agree. You can really notice the influence of the bourbon barrels and sherries, which were used. For me, green apple jumps out of the glass on the nose. On the palate, there's a slight clove spice that complements the green apple notes with those flavors lingering around for a finish. Green spot always reminds me of an apple tart. Ooh. 
Totally. I also love the history of Green Spot as it harks back to the day when merchants, and this gets Mitchell and Sons, were involved in the whiskey trade. Yes. They would have purchased new make spirit from Jameson and merchured it themselves using a paint, green, yellow, or red, within their own warehouses to distinguish which of the different casks they had by age. Next question. What's your favorite place to drink whiskey when you're not on a clock? This is one I always like asking anybody who works in the industry. Uh, that would be Mutton Lane. Mutton Lane Inn in Cork City. It's situated on one of the historic laneways that led to the old market, so it's full of atmosphere, and it really feels like you're stepping back in time. It also has a great whiskey history. Apparently, at one time, it was the pub which sold the most amount of whiskey per square foot in Ireland, which, as you can imagine, is no mean feat. <laughs> That's awesome. And then I asked him, how can we follow along and see where you'll be doing things? He said, the easiest way is to follow me on Instagram at Whiskey Tommy, that's W-H-I-S-K-E-Y-T-O-M-M-Y. And thank you, Tommy Byrne, for taking the time to answer the questions. This is the kind of thing I wish we could have done for every single whiskey on this entire calendar. Um, but I'm grateful to uh, Middleton and Tommy, who stepped in to get involved. Green Spot, a classic. Until tomorrow, Mirror Crazy, stay this set of legal, and may you return before we have time to miss you. Cheers.